Hi everybody, welcome back to Animal Crossing. It's the 6th of July, apparently, according to this fine young fellow. And Ricky wouldn't lie about anything. He he won the National Truth Telling Contest. And you know that when you win the Nationals, then you go on to the World Finals of the Truth Telling Contest. And I wouldn't lie about something like that. No, sir. So, hi everybody, how are you? I... Could be better, I'll be honest with you. I've got what I would consider, what I describe as, the old long face. You know what I mean? You got, um, we have a special opera there in a stunning stove. There's always a wide variety of other items as well. Step by. Okay. Why not indeed? Alright, um, I got, uh, and I, I'm no medical professional. As has been covered extensively on this show. But I have diagnosed myself with... You get this sometimes. Diagnosing myself is not the correct term, I suppose. But sometimes you get this thing, right? Where you're like... Where you wake up and you're like trying to get your face to like move in the way that you want it to. You know, you're kind of like... Eh, you're like you're stretching your face a, bit, a little bit, right? And then you're like... um. You're trying to get it to wake up, and then you feel like your face is really long. Do you know what I mean when I say that? It feels like whenever you, you kind of like, ah, eh, let me get, get my face uh, to get get get, uh, get right right here. And uh, at some point in the morning, your face, I mean, like, usually pretty early in the morning, like when you wake up. Like, I don't have it right now, but earlier today, I got up, and I'm like, ah, my face feels really long. I got the old long face, you know? And I didn't like it. I don't like having a long face. You know, I like I like the face that I have as is without adding length to it. You know, I think it's a it's a decent sized face. I'm gonna be honest with you, that's what I think. I think it's a decent sized face. I that's how I would describe it. Would you do me a favor and buy this ranch tea table for me? Yeah, sure. That's fine. I got bells to spare. I got bells coming out of my ears. I wasn't going to say they were ears, but then I thought I will make it acceptable for everybody to watch this show. So I will use the word ears instead of the word anus. I didn't say that word, so now we're okay. Now my standards and practices can't say anything to me. I mean, they still can't say things to me, but I will ignore them with my amazing ignoring abilities did we get anybody new let's see carmen Stu, stinky lily oh we did get someone new we got lily well i guess we're going to have to pay a little trip to lily's oh today's saturday fudge i forgot to change the clock to see kk slider that means we're never going you're back again? It wasn't that long ago that we last saw Gracie, I think, right? Twinkling star of a darkening fashion world. How can you even look at yourself in that? Well, I know. I feel like my face is really long. And it's ruining the, the rest of the outfit. Don't you think? The long face is really giving... It's drawing attention away from my clothing. Which is irritating. Do you know? It's the long face. And, you know, it, I, I don't know if it's in my head. Like, I don't know if it's a psychological thing. I don't know if, like, when you wake up, your face actually does. It is long. And then, when as you go through the day and your face, like, normalizes. Because like, when you're asleep, you know, you put a lot of, uh, like, a lot of stuff happens without you noticing, right? Because you're asleep. So maybe part of that is just your face gets really long and smooths itself out because you're not using it. And then once you wake up and you get used to using your face more, it kind of squishes back to its original shape. Do you know what I mean? Do you think that that is a real diagnosable problem? I think that that really... I think that could be legit. I think so. And like I said, I'm not a doctor. I have to preface a lot of my medical opinions by saying that I'm not properly a doctor because if I don't say that they, I get in trouble the real doctors are like you're making a mockery of our profession and I'm like yeah fair enough 
I can see how you would come to that conclusion. What with me constantly mocking you and everything. Understandable. Mitzi's not in her house. Mitzi. Are you nearby your house? Is that helpful? Can you come and see me? I want to see Mitzi. And you know what they say. No Mitzi is a bad Mitzi. The catchphrase needs work. Oh, it's Mitzi. Alright, we're saved. Hi, it's already 17 o'clock. How could you not show your face until this hour? Really? I was so worried. From now on, I expect you to stop by every morning to fill me in on your life. No problem, Mitzi. I've got the long face today. So... Mid dude, Mitzi, Gracie's like right up on the cliff. Go back to your house. You'll see her. She's right there. She's really close. She's like parked outside your house. Which is a very rude place for her to park her car. Unless you guys are friends. Now she's a giraffe. She's got a long face. Right? She's got a long face. But naturally she has a long face. Hello. Nose gay. What? This guy's name is Nose Gay? My name's Nose Gay and I don't have a permit, but I thought it would be okay to camp here. Oh, you're not going to make me move? You're just visiting? That's fantastic. I love camping. Nose Gay. Uh, nobody gonna... I'm just gonna leave. Goodbye. Nose gay. That's not even like. That's not a good name for you, dude. Nose gay. I think you might. You can. There are places you can go to. Where you can. Rename yourself. The government, if you pay them enough money, will say yes, you can change your name to whatever you wish. And they're like, what's your old name? Nose gay. This one's on the house. Nose gay. I'm I'm flabbergasted. That that's I didn't expect that. That's not a real name. That's not a real name. There's something very strange about nose gay. I don't trust that. I don't like that. Where did you come from? You weren't here a moment ago. What the hell? How am I doing? My face is just... I can't take this. I need to lie down and get the long face again. When it comes to sports, take rowing, for example. Would you rather play or watch? You seriously like sitting on your behind like a slug and watching? If you don't play, you'll never understand the beauty of a sport like rowing. Like rowing? Why... Why are we being yelled at for not watching the questionable sport of rowing? What are you going to say to me? What fucking mental thing are you going to say to me? Everybody else is. What's up? The weirdest thing just happened to me. Have you heard of Gracie? She's some kind of fashion designer. Everyone's been going on about her for some reason. Anyway, I just met her and guess what she did? She took one look at my clothes and sneered at me. Of course, I sneered right back at her. She screamed, help, there's an angry clown after me. I think I hate her. All right, Tom, you're 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 back on the list. You're a good kid. Help, there's an angry clown after me. That's pretty good. Gotta say, you gotta give props. You gotta give the props to the prop master. Master of props. All right, so Lily's around here somewhere. Let's have a look for Lily. I wonder where she is. Hello. Oh dear, nice to meet you, I think. I'm not used to callers at this hour. In any days, my name is Lily. Do we know each other? I'm sorry if I don't remember you. Oh, is this the first time we've met? I thought so. I don't normally forget face, especially a big long one like mine today. You would remember this big long face, wouldn't you? You'd be like, that's a long face, dude. You got, you gotta, you gotta get, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta. That's what they'd say to me. They would be so distracted by my long face that they'd lose the ability to be able to speak English correctly. And I understand. I've been there many a time. Okay, uh, go right. 
Okay, good. That was fun. Let's go left. Still not quite it. Okay. We are good at this. Oh, but Jesus Christ. Are we ever going to get through this, Mia's? <laughs> I'm taking you on every single incorrect route. Find a way to the end of the Mia's. I knew you could help me. Thanks. I don't know if anybody would classify that as help. I think I was... I'm going to say this. More of a hindrance? Well, bam. What is this? A drone beetle. I got that already. That's fine. I got one of them yesterday, I think. Now, beetles don't have long faces at all. Well, with crickets do, right? A cricket would have a long kind of long kind of face. But most of the insects have like little short petite faces. I would say. I would say petite face. That's how I would describe it. Baby petite face. Baby petite face. All right. Let's post these ladders. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna do it. Pelican. Now, Pelican's got a long beak, but I don't know if that's a long face. You know what I mean? That's, um... I don't think that, that that's mutually the same. In my opinion. And you know that my opinion is the only opinion that matters. Especially on this show. Because it's my show, right? So I can have whatever opinions I want. And my opinions are the Pelicans have short faces but long beaks. Now, I know that might be controversial to some people. But those people are idiots and should not be listened to. So, get out of here with that nonsense. Ridiculous. My, I, my opinion on faces is correct. It's not even an opinion, right? I could say that it's, it's a fact. My face facts. You got face of facts, dude, with my face facts. That'll be the catchphrase I do when I make my DVD of face facts. You know? And one of those facts is when you wake up sometimes, your face is all weird. And you get the long face. Hello. I'm so ticked off. Great. Good talk. Lovely. Lovely to see you. Hello. Howdy. Good evening to you. A thought just occurred to me. It's important to use your head now and again. So I'm doomed. Alright. You've got a drone beetle? If I had one of those in my pad, it would be the coolest. Will you exchange it for a pair? Yeah, whatever. I was just gonna eat the beetle anyway, so I guess I could eat this pair instead. You can't even catch these little guys in our village. I mean, yes, you can. We have loads of pears. We have so many pears. Where are they? Here they are. Lots of pears. Anyway, let's hang on. Let's real quick. Let's see where Stu is. Since we're here. May as well say hi to him. Hello. What a coincidence, right? Running into you like this? Where are you off to at this hour? That's none of your business. Nothing beats running around on days like this. I prepare with fiddly with my furniture, but still, it's nice to soak up some sunshine. I'm so glad that I went out of my way. I dragged my long face all the way down here just to say hello to you, Stu. Ridiculous. All right, man. Well, that was fun. I think we accomplished so much, although I couldn't tell you exactly what it is. We met Nosegay, so... That was fun. And we'll never talk about this again. So thank you very much for watching today's episode. I'll be back again tomorrow. So make sure to tune in then if you want. Anyway, bye, I guess. Bye.